This is getting good. What does Francois do? Well, let's keep reading. Things looked hopeless for Francois, caught in the whirlpool the ogre had created. <laughs> Just then, the king's procession drew near. It's Puss. Sire, my lord, the Marquis de Carabas, he is in grave danger. Uh, men, uh, uh, go to the uh, the aid of the Marquis de Carabas uh, at once. Oh, in the name of the king, desist. Hmm. Enough fun for now. I'll take care of all of you later. <laughs> I don't know how you got rid of him, but good job, Francois. The ogre, he tried to drown me. But you certainly were brave, my lord. Oh, yes. Uh, can I have my clothes now? I'm cold. Oh, uh, I can't seem to find them. Uh, wait right here, my lord. Uh, Your Majesty! Uh, Your Majesty! Uh, the Marquis de Carabas would like to thank you for sending your guards to save him, except he can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Uh... The ogre stole all of his elegant clothing. No clothes? Before long, the king's men returned with royal attire for Francois. <clears throat> Your Majesty, may I present my lord, the Marquis de Carabas? So, you uh, you nearly uh, drowned, eh? Oh, that's terrible. Uh, sire, the Marquis de Carabas thanks you for saving him. Oh, yes, uh, thank you for saving him. Uh, uh, me. <laughs> it's the least I could do after your generous gift of the uh, uh, partridge. The part? Ooh. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> the partridge. Uh, Your Majesty, my lord is a bit shy, but he's a good and kind person. Oh, those are rare qualities today. Won't you introduce us, Puss? Dear Princess, may I present my lord, the Marquis de Carabas. How is it I've never seen you before? He's, uh... On the road a lot. <laughs> Perhaps the Marquis would uh, join us in our coach uh, for the rest of our tour. Oh, sure. Uh, yes, uh, uh, sire. Perhaps the Marquis will even show us his castle. Uh, he'd love to. And now, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. Would you care for a snack? Oh, I see you have caviar. I love that golden flaviar. <laughs> the Marquis de Carabas is a caviar expert. <laughs> hmm. Puss needed to find a castle and lands that Francois could claim to be his own. More haystacks. Work harder. And a fine opportunity soon presented itself. I told you before, work faster or else. Attention, please. Good mowers. Uh, did my lord the ogre tell you his enemy, the king, is coming? No. 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 Oh, he must have forgotten. If the king asks who owns this meadow, the ogre commands you to say it belongs to the Marquis de Carabas, or you'll be ogre dessert. <laughs> have a nice day. Puss ran off to further his plan. And not long thereafter, the king's coach approached that very field. My! What a beautiful meadow! Hey, such a splendid crop of hay! I wonder who owns this meadow? The, the Marquis, Marquis de Carabas! Oh, my dear Marquis, you certainly have the finest meadow. You, you must be a meadow expert also. Oh, I really don't know that much. I guess it just takes a special touch. Oh, he's so modest. The same thing happened when the king's coach came upon a nearby pasture. Ah, oh, my dear Marquis, I am quite impressed. Uh, we didn't know you were a, a cattle expert or so. Uh, yes, I do know a bit about cows, too. Uh, for instance, they usually say moo. <laughs> oh, he's so funny. Oh, I'm just wild about him. Meanwhile, Puss had at last come to the ogre's castle. Who is it? Good afternoon, sir. I am the king's 
personal ambassador. Hey, puss, you boots. I hate the king and anyone who works for him. Listen, you have the amazing power to change yourself into all kinds of beasts. Sure, it's amazing. So what? So, the princess heard about how you can change into beasts. She's just wild about beasts. She's thinking of marrying you. Wow! I got to have her. All right. If you can amuse her by changing into her favorite beasts, the wedding will take place forthwith. Yeah, yeah. First on the list is... an elephant. Pretty good. Uh, okay, here's a tough one. 